Top of the morning, folks. Here's how to mount your missile system onto your aircraft. So I have my F-18 here, and first you have to take a uh, dummy model of your missile, like this, and then place it onto your fighter jet or your aircraft. So I've done that to see how it would uh, look, how it would be placed. After that, save and take a wooden seat, and then place it somewhere that's replicable. So, so for example, I'm going to place a seat on the back of this segment here, like that, and that should be all we need. Now save that onto your aircraft file, and then clear, save, uh, load your missile file that you've just made. Now get your screwdriver tool, select all, turn collision on. Uh, yes. And then select these gold plates. All six of them. Turn transparency on. And then this cube in the center. Now select all, anchor everything, get your glue blocks, and then link all of them together. So, one, two, three, four, one, two. You only need to do um, one plate for each set. You can delete these, and then now take a seat you may need to turn your transparency down on the middle cube and then place it and then place the seat exactly where you placed it on uh, the fighter jet that you did so I placed it right in the tail segment of this place it on the same segment that you placed the seat on your jet belt on like that. Yeah. Then... And then sit on that seat. Okay. Take a cake block and place it on the back, like so. Get a pink candy and a jetpack. And then you should be able to unanchor everything. Turn collision off as well. And then bring it out to the first stage to clone it. Now load your jet, uh, yeah, here. When it's finished loading, you come back to your jet and sit on the seat that you previously placed. Yes. Come back here to your dummy missile and then delete your uh, dummy missile. And then sit on this seat. May need to turn collision off. So now your missile is mounted onto your jet, but you still have to make sure it doesn't coincide with anything. So, for the time being, turn collision on with your cube and anchor it as well. Now carefully delete your jetpack and your cake block. And then now save. And also delete uh, the seat block. Get a piston. Now go to the, the panel that's closest to your center. 
turn collision on and then get a piston. You might need mesh rotation if your wing is tilted like me. And then place one that's facing up and another one on top of that. Now get something like a gold block, place it like so and stretch it a bit until it's near the uh, gold plate here and then place a glue block on it. Now unanchor this stretch and push it up and that should be... so now it's successfully mounted save this then turn collision off on everything that's associated with the missile like here and then the middle origin block and then here also here now for the key binds. So put some key binds on uh, your pistons. I'm gonna set pull to C and push to V. All the slime blocks, all the glue blocks need to be on a single key bind. It's highly recommended that you use the numpad to control the missile. So here and select all of the glue blocks, S assign it to numpad multiply, keypad multiply. And then go here. So the two side wheels are the are your pitch controls. So select them. Go here and do numpad 8 and numpad 5, keypad rather. Go and then the front and back wheels will control your roll maneuver. Flick those and uh, go up here, do numpad keypad 7 and keypad 8. 9 and then your top and bottom wheels are going to be your yaw control so select both and assign them to keypad 4 and keypad 6 and if your yaw control doesn't work then you might need to uh, select one of the wheels and then Actually, this one down here would, w and then turn reverse spin on, and it should work in case it doesn't work. So now you're finished. Select all of these origin block, glue blocks, and the pistons as well. Turn transparency to a hundred percent. Oop. I'm also going to recolor this bit. Now you're quite done, save. So you're quite finished, but I do want to test the missile. So 